ASA teams, parents who are joining us live today or watching this online, you know, welcome to learning more about one of the most revolutionary swim products to come to the market in our lifetime, uh, the Hammerhead Swim Cap. You know, technology has made faster swimsuits, goggles that don't melt if you leave them in a hot car on a sunny afternoon. But in our lifetime, swim caps have basically stayed the same. Like you either have the old, you know, the latex caps, some old little silicone caps that eventually get frayed and discolored. And that's it. That's all we've ever had until now, until Hammerhead came out and has created the Hammerhead swim cap that has a fully integrated safety feature that we're going to talk about later today, but as a one piece silicone cap, it'll be the last cap our kids ever buy as long as they don't grow out of it. So joining us today for today's Zoom meeting are the founders of Hammerhead, Teresa Finn and David Burns, along with Tim Storstein, the head coach at Brooklyn Hills and Chastain Park's year-round club team. So ASA was first Hammerhead back in the fall of 2019 and very early in learning about Hammerhead's journey and their core beliefs, the league knew that this was a product and a mission for safer swimming and happier summers that was right on track with what our league has long strived for. And we wanted to bring awareness to our teams about the great work that David and Teresa are doing in the swim communities. As this product is new to many of us, it was once new to coach Derek Gelber and the Alper JCC in Miami, as well as Olympian Josh Davis. We'd like to briefly share their story and then learn how Hammerhead came to be directly from the founders, David and Teresa. Everybody, welcome to the Power of the Hammerhead live webinar. I'm your host, Josh Davis. So I immediately got excited to try it. And I realized after using it for several weeks and months, I've been using it for almost now, it's the safest, fastest, most comfortable, longest lasting swim cap in the world. Uh, so my name is Derek Gelber. I'm the aquatics director at the Alper JCC in Miami. I'm also the head coach uh, and founder of our swim programs over there, uh, including our swim school. Um, we had these awesome caps made with our logo. Uh, we really kind of had everybody um, uh, buy in on the benefit of better protecting our kids. You know, as a community center, that's one of our biggest things is providing for our children and protecting our children. Um, <clears throat> there's also a lot of um, initiative in swimming uh, recently about protecting our athletes' heads, um, where it's it's been prevalent in other sports for many, many, many decades. This is just coming around in our sport. And I said, what if, what if we just provided one of these hammerhead caps for every single one of our swim school kids when they enrolled in our program? Like it was built into their annual registration. And our agency, you know, was behind it 100%. Um, and now every single kid that comes through our program from swim school on up will get a hammerhead cap uh, upon registration. So that's the Alper JCC Miami story of how we rolled out Hammerhead Swim Caps, how we partnered up with them, and um, how we're better protecting our kids and better providing for our community. I think that goes a long way for, for you as a coach, you know, so the parents know that you're thinking ahead for their safety and for the benefit of the team. I think it looks good on you as a coach that you do that and that are leading the way. So well done, Derek. This, this fixes a lot of problems. And uh, it feels good. It's easy on, easy off. I, uh, I think it's the last cap parents will ever have to buy their kid. Be as safe and as fast as you can this Olympic summer. And uh, David and Teresa, I just want to thank you for founding this company and creating this product that's really going to help kids uh, stay safe and get faster. And stay so David, I'd, I'd like to turn it over to you and to learn more about the genesis of where did the product and where did the idea come from? 
Yeah. Um, well, first and foremost, Evan, thank you so much for having us on. Um, Tim, as well, thank you so much. We are so delighted to be part of the uh, Atlanta Swim League and um, everything that it has to offer. And um, to give you a little history about the Hammerhead, I myself have been coaching for about 20 years. And in those 20 years, well, I've seen a lot of kids hit their head doing the backstroke or in a collision with uh, when one another comes in, in, at one point and hit, hit each other. Um, I also see them in flip turns. And all of a sudden, my daughter was eight years old and she was old enough to be on the swim team. And she was one of 40 kids that I was training and she was doing the backstroke and she came in pretty, pretty fast and she hit her head. Um, and right away, you know, as a coach, you see it and you don't really think about it, but she started bawling and crying. And for the first moment of my life, I wasn't just a coach on the deck. I was a father. And as a father, what do we try to do? We try to go save the day and help our kids, um, and soothe them and, and, you know, try to get them to stop crying. So when I went over there, I'm like, babe, you got to make sure you're counting your arms and making sure that you don't hit your head. And before I could finish my sentence, a 15 year old girl in a separate lane came in pretty hot and hit her head and had a slight concussion. We had to pull her out of the pool and she couldn't get back in and we had to call her parents. And so I had two kids crying, 38 kids looking at these two kids and I'm the coach. And I said to my uh, out loud, I said, what do I have to do to get you guys to do the backstroke right? Get you a helmet. And my daughter raised her hand and said, yes, please. And I said, babe, there's no such thing. And then right then and there, it was like, it was like, well, what if we could create something that would absorb that impact? And uh, Teresa was there and her husband was there and kind of put our heads together and said, well, what can we make that's going to be beneficial to the swimmer and, and help them be more confident and happy and healthier? So that was about seven years ago. And, and we've gone down that journey and um, we're very proud of, of what we have accomplished and brought the hammerhead to market. If I can spin over to Teresa. Teresa, can you tell us a little bit more about the product and the technology behind uh, the safety and the speed that comes with the hammerhead cap. I'd love to. So um, obviously the first and foremost focus for us when we were working with our engineers and our designers was, was for the head safety. We found out um, after the kind of the aha moment that David just described that, um, that the most important part is gonna be to have something inside the cap. And I don't know if you can see the honeycomb, but it had to be one part. We found out from all the rules and regulations that it had to be one part. It couldn't be an insert or anything like that. So uh, we call this honeycomb impact technology and it is patented and it runs about four inches wide from the front to the back of the uh, crown of the head and designed to minimize impact when there are collisions or you know, the, the maybe miscounts going into the wall after the kids um, see the flags. Uh, so that's called Honeycomb Impact Technology. And as a byproduct, we, um, we call this tech fit. And as you can see, there, there aren't any wrinkles on the top of the cap, primarily because of the honeycomb system inside. So what that's gonna give the swimmer is reduced drag and it's gonna act like a, a dome cap design. The other component I wanna, I wanna point out is we're using 100% premium silicone in the manufacturing and it had to be one part. So this is all, this is not two pieces of silicone like the caps you pointed out earlier where they're fused together. It is, it is all one part, even, uh, you know, we've never had one tear. Usually the tears or the um, fractures from swim caps come from um, that seam that runs down the middle. So it's more durable and will provide more value in the long run, as well as safety and speed. Awesome. Thanks, Teresa. And kind of turning to Tim for a second. So Tim, this is obviously new to you. It's newer to, to the swim league as well. You know, why, can you talk a little bit about why did you want to become uh, a brand ambassador and, and part of uh, the Hammerhead team? As the kids are swimming in the pool, you're one of maybe two, three coaches, four coaches on the pool deck with anywhere from 20 to 60 swimmers in the water at a given time. You can't put your eyes on every kid. So exactly what David was saying about it, his daughter hitting her head on the head on on the wall in a race. Imagine 20 to 60 kids in the water and you can't have your eyes on everybody. So knowing that there's a product out there, pardon the pun, David, there's a helmet for us as a swim cap. Our kids, there's just there's a little bit of 
ease as a swim coach, knowing that your kid is not going to, you know, hurt themselves as bad. I mean, you, we understand they're going to hurt themselves maybe, but not as bad with something like this, because we've all seen where a kid has ran into the wall at full speed. We've seen another kid, two kids collide, um, you know, especially when you're teaching backstroke, not only are you trying to teach backstroke, but you're trying to teach, you know, lane etiquette and circle swim. And, you know, they drift across that midline and they yeah, hit someone else. Shoot. We've even seen kids swimming freestyle, not paying attention and hit heads. So having this technology in the water adds a value of safety that you can, you, when you have that many kids in the water, you can't, it's a good thing to have, um, you know, um, but again, as teachers with the little kids, you know, you have that added protection and you know, there's going to be bumps and knowing that this is going to diffuse the honey, that, that honeycomb um, technology is going to diffuse the impact. Hey, I, I'm, I'm all for it. When I saw this first product come up, I reached out to Evan as soon as I could. Thanks, Tim. I want to do a quick video if we can, just to kind of give a, a summer's perspective uh, and then we'll kind of come back. Uh, so give me one. We were in our first year of competitively swimming and Brooke had made it to the championship meet. I was swimming backstroke. It was my best stroke, but when I was within my last few strokes, I banged my head right into the gutter. She needed help getting out of the pool and literally burst into tears. And from that moment on, um, she was done with the backstroke. Hey, do you want some backstroke? Should I sign you up for it? And I'd say no. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Look at that. You can't even tell it's in there. Yeah. It's like a helmet. That's waterproof. <laughs> in competitive swimming, every second does count. And her, in her mind, she's working on her kicking, her strokes, counting the flags. And that is, you know, overshadowing the back of her mind, knowing that that wall is in there. And is she going to hit her head again? For someone to practice with that on, it will help them be a lot more confident and move way less. Concussions are a real you know, real possibility in any sport. And I think people don't think of swimming as maybe something that you could get a concussion from, and it's definitely a risk. So I think uh, a swim cap like this has several different uses and a place in swimming. Tim, when, when we think about you as a, as a school teacher and as a swim coach, what are the similarities when you think about Hammerhead as it pertains to a teacher as well as a swim coach? As a coach, when you first introduce swimming to a new student or a new swimmer, you're not coaching, you're teaching. You got to teach them the fundamentals. You got to teach them the technique. And as they progress, then you start coaching. And so when you're teaching backstroke, one of the first things you try to do is teach these kids how to count from the flags into the wall. And that doesn't always go so well. And so knowing that there is some form of protection for them, that, that helps. The other thing is, you know, like I mentioned earlier, is the circle swimming. These kids are not paying attention and we all, we've all been there. And we've all seen it. So again, we have a little bit of protection that can help keep these kids safe in the water. Because again, swimming is the only sport where you have to have a professional rescuer on the pool deck at all times. Uh, thinking about Hammerhead is watching these swimmers, uh, parents, volunteer timers, they're worried about their kids hitting the wall. And it doesn't matter if it's their team or the other team or their kid, but then bending over and putting their hand in the wall, in the water to protect their kid's head. I, I always laugh when I see that one parent kind of slip in the water because they're trying to protect the kid. And, you know, it, it happens once a season, every once in a while. So again, parents don't have to interfere with the race because I've also seen kids disqualify where the parent was reaching down, trying to be safe. And the kid got disqualified because the parent interfered. And then the most important part, parents aren't stopping the watches when they're supposed to be. So the kid doesn't get the correct ribbon. Yeah. And I just like to add that that happens 
all too, too much. Um, we had a lot of coaches do that at my summer league and we had an official that came over to the coaching staff and said, if, if anyone interferes with, with stopping the kid, they will be disqualified. Um, and we said, would you rather have them hit their head? And the answer was, unfortunately, if that's the first point of contact to stop, it has to be that. So, um, yeah, I, I see a big difference when people wear hammerheads and they kind of bounce off because it, it just absorbs that impact. You don't feel it. The kids don't feel it. And, and they just, you know, their confidence is just where it started. So. You know, we're seeing trends within s swimming from leadership organizations like the National High School Federation and from USA Swimming that they've, in, they've implemented and, and mandated concussion protocol training. And we are thrilled to know that that's being recognized. I, not only coaches seeing it all the time or parents um, seeing head hits in the wall or with collisions, but you know, we look at ourselves, uh, David and I do, when we design and brought to market this product line, that we are a preventative measure that complements these new mandates for concussion protocol training because they, what they're in place for is to identify once a concussion has occurred and what we're about is preventing it before it happens. No, that, that, that's a great point. As much as we see the concussion protocols, that's a, a great reminder. So thanks for bringing that in. Great. For a few minutes, I'm going to kind of turn it over to a little bit of kind of panel questions uh, for you guys so that uh, our folks within ASA can learn a little bit more about uh, Hammerhead. So, Teresa, first question is coming to you. Uh, while this product may be new to the Atlanta Swim Association, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the other, you know, kind of early adopters or, or other brand ambassadors like Tim? Super proud of, of the traction we've got and, and um, how they've really tried to uh, incorporate Hammerhead as an educational element to their organization. That's great. It's great to see how it's kind of been building over the past couple of years with, with more organizations and some clinics. Tim, if I remember right, uh, weren't we looking to have rowdy gains come last year before this COVID thing got in the way? Yes. Uh, 2019. Um, one of our larger swim teams in the league ha was gracious enough to host a, a meet and greet with a number of the coaches in the league then Friday night. And then um, we had we had 200 slots um, at Chastain Park for Rowdy to come into a stroke clinic. And um, before we even op really opened it up, we sent it to the coaches that came that we invited. We already had seven, 70 plus swimmers pre-register on the first night. So we had some good traction going for one hammerhead and two you know you have an olympic medalist like rowdy who absolutely loves this sport coming into atlanta and doing clinics i mean evan and i were like well i guess we're going to be working all week and helping rowdy um but we were excited um however we've just kind of put everything on hold um we're ready to go in 2022 um we still have the locations locked in we just now we just got to get through this pandemic and i think Atlanta will have Rowdy Gaines next summer with Hammerhead. Yeah, he's excited. He's a little busy right now getting ready for the, the Olympic trials and the Olympics, but uh, he was he was really looking forward to meeting you and all of your uh, your members and coaches. That's awesome. We look forward to doing that for the for the league as well as for for Hammerhead and, and Rowdy here next spring. Teresa, can you talk for a second about kind of the different, uh, uh, the prices and compare, you know, the prices to the latex or silicone caps and how does a hammerhead price uh, kind of land for the swim caps? So our, our MSRP is $34.95 and um, we do have a 30 day guarantee, money back guarantee. In fact, we, we just don't have them torn. If we ever have any returns, it's because of Maybe they want to change sizes, but I mean, the quality is unmatched. Uh, we do have discounts for bulk team orders. We are able to put team logos on the caps and we'll get into that a little bit later in the call. But um, yeah, I mean, our mission is to provide a cap that looks and feels as much like a 
standard swim cap that you've grown up with. It offers the, um, but it offers protection for any accidental head bumps or collisions that's never been offered before. We wanna, we offer the competitive swimmer, the racer, a cap that's comfortable and that is faster. And we offer parents a cap that is, you know, has the utmost quality, uh, durability. It's, it's, they just don't tear. So if you think about uh, buying a swim cap a couple times a year or a season, and those caps cost between 10 and 15 bucks each, you know, you're, you're way ahead of the game uh, investing in a hammerhead swim cap. The only reason you'd have to get a new one is if your um, if your swimmer's head grows. So, you know, we're really excited about uh, the fact that it comes in three sizes and really no other swim cap in the market offers that today. So you can get the, the exact fit for your head. So that, that, that sounds different. Let's, let's grow on that one for a second, David, maybe you can take this. I've only ever known swim caps that are just one size. Yeah. Well, tr like you said, traditionally speaking, um, they usually come one size fits all and you're right. You know, you have four year olds, they have the, the size on and it's out to here and they have all the, the ripple effect is what I call it up on top. And, and even, you know, larger heads, when you put those on the one size fits all, that's why they get the ripples. And that's where the drag comes into play. So, so we have three different sizes for the hammerhead. Um, our, our heads are not obviously the same size. So the one size fits all, all kind of goes out the door right away. I mean, could you imagine a one size fits all for shoes or, or anything else? It's just, it's not, it's not right. So the first one is small. And the small usually ranges for kids between, you know, three and nine years old, kind of the youth size is what we like to call it. And then the medium size is kind of like the 10 year old and teenagers. And there's, there's the large one. And that one's for, you know, adults with bigger heads or even girls that have longer hair that need to put it back into their cap. Um, so there's enough room for that. The common um, traditional swim cap, silicone or latex, a lot of the girls like to wear their, their cap up here, or the, the bun up here. And what we recommend is actually putting it down lower and just kind of putting it up underneath the cap, um, just because the hit technology is on top. So usually we get, you know, coaches to get a coach's kit so that they're able to get a small, medium and large. Um, a lot of kids love trying them on and figuring out what size they are. So it's a really great way just to get your head uh, measured with the right cap. Um, and it, it goes a long way too when, when, when I do say that there is the right size for your child and that one size fits all is, you know, really kind of out the door nowadays. 70% of all orders for team orders are of medium. Um, uh, that would be the bulk. 20% are going to be uh, on the large size and then 10% is going to be on the small um, we, we sell a lot of small caps for the, the younger kids, for the athletes that are just getting on the swim team, or it's their first year. And, and like Teresa was saying earlier, um, there are several swim teams that have mandated it for the 10 and unders just for that reason in itself. No, th thanks for sharing that, David. So Tim, when you think about hammerhead for, for your kids uh, or your club team, when's the right time to wear a hammerhead? That's easy. Anytime. Um, because, you know, in practice, you know, again, 20 to 60 kids in the water, you know, there's going to be bumps, bumps somewhere. Um, and they're easy to get on. Um, David, you said something about the girls, you know, putting their ponytails lower. Okay. Yeah. Cause it's already a form fitting cap already. And so, and, and then, you know, these, some of these girls, I joke around and they put their ponytails really right up on their head and they literally look like a shark fin. Um, but, you know, teaching the girls how to put their ponytail lower and in the back really does help with speed. Um, and then the speed comes into the competition, the reduced drag, just the ripple effect. And, you know, tagging what um, Evan said, how many times have you spend the 500, the thousand or the mile and then or or a girl with longer hair. And by the end of the race, the cap's falling off. But we just put our team cap right on over it. And again, when you put the team latex, latex cap over the top of the hammerhead, the, the ripples go away because they form on top of the hammerhead cap. So that yeah. also, you know, we're representing our team. Um, we're, we're not 
We haven't quite yet got to the customization yet, but we do have plenty of latex caps in the back and easily just throw them right over. The other thing I like about it too is it sits a little bit lower on the forehead of the kid and it goes back a little bit further and you get full ear coverage. So again, you're getting a faster product. Um, I know again, by time I finished a race, the cap was up around my ears or out of my, my ears were popping out with this, both in practice and in, in races, it stays where it's supposed to be. So T Teresa, can you talk a little bit about the speed elements? We're talking about the wrinkles, but we've kind of got an image on the screen of, uh, of an actual study with, uh, with Gary Hall senior. Can you talk about that just for a second? Yeah, we, we were actually at, um, I think it was ASCA, in 2019 and Dr. Hall approached us and inter we introduced him to our advisory board team and um, David and I met him and he said, I've been hearing about the hammerhead. I'd like to know more. I'd actually like to do some testing on it. And so his, his whole focus was trying to determine, does it make a difference wearing the hammerhead versus wearing a silicone or latex cap because of the wrinkles? And um, after he did his uh, in-pool test, he found that passive drag could be reduced by up to 10 and a half percent. You know, Rowdy Gaines teases, he says, you know, I won by four one hundredths of a second at the Olympics. So um, it, it, it does make a difference. And, you know, it's compared to a dome style cap. So we were thrilled to be part of um, those results. And not only can we tout that it is a uh, the first safety swim cap that looks and feels like a normal cap, but it also delivers um, great results from a racing standpoint. When we work with Abby Fish with Swim Like a Fish, her focus is she's working with elite athletes and her focus is to have her athletes wear the hammerhead because she said they have the confidence to, to push their limits to swim more aggressively, to go into the wall faster. And, you know, it's, it, it just gives them that extra confidence at that, um, at that elite level. No, thanks. That makes a lot of sense. We've seen how much swimsuits have evolved for speed uh, and goggles as well. It also makes sense that the cap should do that. So um, Teresa, I'm going to kind of turn it over to you for a second. Can you talk a little bit more about how do we find out more information uh, about hammerhead caps, the coaches kits that David mentioned and, uh, and finding out more at a, at a local level from, from Tim versus you guys uh, in Minneapolis at the headquarters. Certainly. So as part of our partnership with Atlanta Swimming Association, we, um, we decided to make it really simple for your members. So if you'd like to order uh, a coach's kit, which is one of each size, or if you'd like to get a quote for a, uh, a team order, which consists of the product, the cap. And then if you wanted any kind of uh, team logo put it on it, put on it, you can see on the left, uh, there's a few examples of caps that have a, you know, pretty and detailed logos put on them. So for coaches kits and team logoed caps, you can reach out to us at info at hammerheadswimcaps.com. Or if you'd like to order an individual cap, you can go to hammerheadswimcaps.com and then enter the code at checkout, GA-Atlanta. You'll get 10% off your order. And if you'd like to work locally with Tim and his team, he is available to come out and do local fittings and any kind of sales support that you need in the Atlanta area. And you can see his contact information here. It is 404-307-1464 uh, or hammerheadatlanta at gmail.com. That's awesome. Thanks thanks for that, Teresa. Teresa. And just to kind of close us this evening, uh, David, Teresa, uh, I want to applaud you guys for, for building a tremendous product and thinking about all, all of the kids currently, but also the kids in the future. And certainly, Tim, for... Uh, for your endeavors to wanting to help bring this product to, to the Atlanta Swim Association uh, and continuing the responsible and safe practices for, for our kids. So again, in closing, please check out uh, hammerheadswimcaps.com. Uh, learn more about the product, reach out to Tim or David and Teresa 
uh, and have a faster and safer summer. Thanks for joining us tonight.